Hello, Scrabble here, back with more Blasphemous. Last time we ended up coming all the way to the patio of the Silent Steps before the Mother of Mother's Church. We got the incomplete scapular. We did the desecrated cistern. This time I want to head back to the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow to check out Edris. See what the new content is all about, you know? That is what is exciting to me. And right above us, we have the rosary. We have 1700, so I don't think it requires... I don't think it needs anything, but just in case. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. Go for it. The rosary mystery available. All right, we don't have anything. I gotta sneeze here. Hold on. Yeah. Ooh, that was rough. That's me. All right, so we have a new spot here. Three more mysteries that we can use. Uh, let's see. This is increasing defense. I think increasing defense sounds pretty good for what I'm looking for. Uh, block attacks from behind. I don't really care about. Accelerate player use. Dodging cooldown. Actually, oh, I already have that. I was like, actually, that's really good. Uh, lightning is fine. Yeah, I don't care. Electrification. Resistance to falls is actually kind of good. Kind of good. And magical attack protection is also kind of good. Uh, immaculate bead is great, but only when we need it. It is required for the complete ending. Uh, so I think we're just going to take the defense, and then we'll take magic defense once we get another mo mystery. Once we can equip another bead, you know. Alright, so we had to show up. No, oh, not here. We do have to do that eventually, but we're going to wait until closer to the end of the game before we go ahead and do those. And I still don't think I can do this. Nothing happened, no. I still need that initial ball of wax. Which I clearly missed somewhere. Alright, so we are looking for Edris. And I'm sure we'll find him. This is the new content, so let's assume he's up here first. Ah, you suck. Okay, so we have to jump off the ladder then. I don't remember blood platforms activating in that way, but sure, it's fine. Hey, oh. Uh, nope. Hey, that's his thing. There he is. Virtuous penitent one. So this is all new. This was the place where your sword was born of guilt itself, bringing pain to the flesh as the soul could suffer no more. That statue definitely looks like the statue of the woman at the beginning of the game during the cutscene who was slamming the thing into her breast until it turned into a sword. He grown from twisted wood. It will open the door behind which lies that which the holiness itself condemned to eternal reclusion. I no longer have the power or the words to describe it. Head for the library of the negated words. There you'll find the keeper of keys. Though the one I am entrusting you with is missing from his connection. 
Okay, so the Library of Negated Words is in the Mother of Mother's Church. So, see ya, Edris. And I am going to warp back there. You'll see me there. Okay, I did decide that while I was near Hondo, I should come and grab a couple of these guys. Now that we have the ability to do so. So, this is the first one. So you can see that grows now, which is great. And we get what bones? Oh, Pelican effigy. Interesting. Protects the wearer from all harm while they drink the bile flask. We are going to use that. Uh, oh, this is slightly strengthens defenses, so we're gonna put that on. So now we get iframes when we're healing, so that's actually uh, quite good. Glad I got it. You can then use it to create some time when you are drinking to protect yourself. All right. I'm going to jump over to the other side there and remove this. Great. I'm going to jump over to here and then come back. Okay. And as you can see, this is the other one we were waiting for. You can also watch me get hit, which is fun. Ow. <laughs> And we grab a prayer, so they have excommunication. Uh, quick attacks are replaced with a devastating blow that annihilates enemies. Well, that sounds pretty good, too. Uh, and we want to remove that guy from the map that covers the ones over here that I hadn't marked. So that's fantastic. And I will see you back at the patio of the silent steps. Okay, we are back to where we began today. I'm just going to take care of that guy. Ah! Oh, I got kind of lucky there. So I did not want to end up on that, I'll tell you. Right, we're gonna just gonna kill that guy there. These guys die in a single slash, so we will do that. And I don't see anything else here. We do notice that there's a way up there. And that I should be able to jump here, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now these jumps are pretty tight. Ah, I thought I had her. There we go. Hey! It's like, I know I had you that time. As always, if you can actually kill a guy through a floor, like, don't hesitate. Just do it. That looks dangerous. Ah! That person's dead. Uh, I don't... Oh, I can quite get her. I was like, I don't think I can quite get her there. Is that a heal? That is a heal. Oh, they suck. Okay, they are not... Hey, look at that. That got her. Well, that sucked. I think their flash should run out, but I guess it won't. Mm, I'm not falling for that again. Oh, there's one that, you know, you might Gotta jump careful. Hey, it's a bone. I'm not actually surprised it's a bone. I'm going to take a thing here. Take a knee. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, man. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to the D-pad. Because... 
I don't trust myself on these jumps with the analog stick. Ah, what a jerk. No! <laughs> gotcha. Okay. All good. We do need all of our relics equipped to do this stuff, but be careful. The bone? Oh, Quicksilver. And we can't actually move forward here, so that sucks. Ta-da. Ta-da. Uh-oh. Game old tabbed. For some reason, I have no idea why it does that. Down the ladder, and over. Great. Okay. Now we need to tackle. Ow! <laughs> Woohoo! You're gonna burn, right? Yeah. Uh, and I know I can't make that. However, I can definitely do this. You know, this is why it's totally advantageous to have these before you come here. That way you don't need to miss these things. Uh, Thorned Symbol protects its wearer from damage through contact. That is also quite good. Uh, let's see. It might be better than that at the moment. Reduce dodge cooldown I don't want to lose. Vital Essence of Enemies I like having. I don't like damage through contact, though, so we'll remove that. Again, careful on these jumps. They're not all as clean as they look. Ow! When the game says... Protect through damage through contact, and then you immediately take a whole bunch of contact damage. Like, I don't know if I trust you, game. Hmm, I think I'll probably have to fall down out of that. Ow! Oh! Like before, I don't think I was taking damage on contact, and now I feel like I'm taking all kinds of damage on contact. Oh, olive seeds. Those are almost certainly, yep, for Terso. And there's probably a bone. Yep, a bone. You want to give a dog a bone? All right. Gonna head up here. Maybe that's just for sliding down the other way. You gotta be very careful about random jumps here. Because there are a bunch of times where I would randomly take a jump and it's just not gonna work. Just give me your tears. Okay, so this is a mini boss, kind of. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Ah ha ha. Got him. There you go, Redento. The way is clear. Those screams filled my soul with fright. Thou hast 
purge my fears and helped this poor pilgrim again. We have chosen different roads, but still, absolution awaits at the end of the path for thee and this sinner. Wherever it is, near or far, in this life or on the other side of the dream, merciful be the heart bent and white. We got a big toe. All right, what's the big toe do? Adds extra thrust while in the air. I think that lets me like cross a little bit of gaps, right? Because when you hit, you move forward a little bit. I think. There we go. Hey, I haven't seen you in a long time. I remember just how difficult you were. Who knows why the priests in floating chairs are here. But I believe this is the Mother of Mother's Church. Yeah. The Knot of the Three Woods. We are making progress. Look at what Deogracius looks like now. The knot of the three words. He's huge. So he could ease the guilt that sharply pierced his soul. Then the miracle manifested itself. It made roots grow and twists over his arms and legs. But not a cry nor a complaint came out from his mouth. Every inhabitant of this land bore witness to it. And all of them prayed before the besought eternal joy of that youngster. This triune tree that sprouted years after his death was named the Knot of the Three Words. For three are its twisted trunks, and three were the words spoken by that youngster before he died. My great guilt. Every year from its core flows a golden burning liquid perpetuating his memory and perhaps to remind us that the first miracle has not abandoned us for twisted are were and will be the paths of the miracle the knot he played he prayed it made root every in this effort yeah game's a little messed up just so you know if you didn't already Beautiful game. But totally little messed up here. These will hit us. You do want to make sure that you are not there when it comes in. Um, I do want to go that way, but... I would like to just double check to see. I was like, that's weirdly placed. It's a fervor increase. Great. I just want to double check to see if there is a warp right here. Because I would put a warp here. This is the Library of Negated Words. So this is where the Keeper is. Uh, we are going to change our relics here. Take that off. Put this on. I hear them reading them out of the Forbidden Writings. It is a constant murmuring whose echoes once inside my head refuse to leave. I know that my curiosity will kill me if my madness does not do it first. I don't actually want to do the library yet, though, so we're going to hold off on that. And we're going to move forward through the Mother of Mothers. Whoa! There we go. He's dead.
Remember, just have patience. These guys, not difficult whatsoever. Yeah, we're going to do one of those. And take one of these. Oh, nice. Not sure if I've ever seen that one. But I do like getting the finishers. And I think they give you extra tears. Although that might be a bead. Come on. Yeah, those guys aren't tough. You just gotta jump over them. Uh, this is interesting, but I'm not going that way yet. I'd like to continue just moving forward the way that I think Redento would continue moving forward. All the tears of the sea. What? I have not seen this before. This is not from this DLC, but I haven't seen this before. Funny, because I just beat Bloodstained. warrior stay thy course i sense a heavy burden within thee although i can neither see thy face nor hear thy voice forgive my manners my name is miriam your teleport is broken miriam this place of crimson shadows has summoned me something in this suffering land a will that eludes my understanding decided that i alter the course of my journey and brought me to this place and if it has sanctioned this meeting it must be because we are being put to the test, destined to mutually help one another under its watchful gaze. This crystal that lies before us is what allows me to travel to distant lands. But, as you can see, it is cracked and its magic extinguished. To restore it, I must find the shards that are scattered throughout your world. I beg you, allow me to show you one of them. It lies beyond this door. Oh boy. Am I about to die? Probably, I think. This is one of the portals of the Blue Rose that guard each and every one of the crystal shards. The force of its magic will not allow me to enter. Pray, help me, anonymous warrior. Enter in my stead and retrieve the shards. I must return to my kingdom. And I must not tarry. Yeah, I guess. Help me, warrior. I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay. It's like bloodstained. I see 115 is on the clock. Come on. Uh. Oh. Well, that might have screwed me. I also maybe was supposed to go up there. Eight seconds. Ah, I died. I was going to die anyway. Okay, let's try again.
Okay, this section I'm going to switch over to the D-pad. Come on. I made it. I made it. I made it. Oh, that's cool. It's a save point. Love it. Oh, shards are way bigger than I thought they were. There's going to be like maybe four of them. Right? Like three or four. Five max. Look. The portal of the blue rose has closed. The shard has returned and the crystal is reforming. I beg thee. Help me retrieve the remaining shards. Do what I do what I can, Miriam. Do what I can. All right, that did not take me to where Redento was. Thought it would, but I guess not. Look, I feel it's magic. Pray. But I wonder if you can go through that once you're done. That's a cool area. Nice lighting effects. Lighting effects in this game are quite nice. Um, man, I just want to find where Redento has gone. Interesting. I don't actually see anything on the sides of this. Hey, there we go. We have found a portal, which is one of the things we were looking for. Morning and Havoc. Yeah, I'll save. So, I mean, that other area over there, wasn't it? It's also called Morning and Havoc, I'm pretty sure, which means this is a very long area. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, the exact same finisher as the lion guys, but... I mean, that one really, you know, happened with a ton of health left. You'd love to see it. like you'd love to see that. Right? When you need a relic and you already got it, it's a lovely thing. Oh, nice. Something good. ABBL is going to give me something stupid. Light of the Lady of the Lamp. What's this one do? An iron amulet forged in the shape of a lantern, rusted by humidity and salt. Peter sailors wore it so the Lady of the Lamp might find them. If they fell overboard, it's still impregnated with the feverish prayers of its last owner, increasing all defenses when flasks run empty. Okay, so if your flasks are empty, put that on and you become a lot more defensive. Got it. Now, I don't actually want to be down here, so I'm just going to head out. This was something where I was like, maybe if I go in for a second really quick, I can get something interesting. And I think it did. So, mission accomplished. Okay. Headed up, back into the Mother of Mothers. We will obviously head down there, but... Uh, Closer to the end of the game. Let's try and maybe max out before we go down there. 
So I am sure there are lots of dangerous things in Morning and Havoc. And I, that was weird. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing there. Okay, I'm going to head up a bit. Again, looking for where Redento might have gone. Uh, weird. Analog stick. Hits me every time. Again, you don't want to be smacked by those. They hurt. Maybe they don't hurt at the end of the game, but they hurt now. Now is the time I care the most about. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> His foot. Yeah, the game is hard enough. You should not feel bad if you cheese it a little bit. Uh, I don't think... I'm not going to pay for this. No. And I just wasn't sure if I had any empties. I didn't think so. Alright, so we still have not found where Redento goes. I will. I need him. I need you, Redento. I feel like Redento the whole game has been walking to the right, and so I just need to continue going to the right. Thus is the end of Redento's quest. Barefoot master. Um, I need you to give me your stuff, man. We're going to move a couple of rooms over, and then we are going to come back. There we go. Can you quit messing with me? How many more prayers does the great censor want? When will it tire and stop swaying? When will we be able to stand again? Lower your head, close your eyes, pray. And do not get up. Yes, that giant thing will hit you and it will hurt. So, here, what you want to do is we're going to take off the thorned symbol and the pelican egg. We'll remember them and put them back. And put all the toes on. And come forward and the statue will move. Because we have all the toes. The master showeth us the continuation of the path. 
few steps await us under the cold stone. Now we get our relic. Nail uprooted from dirt. The bearer of the relic receives his determination and walks effortlessly through swamps and muddy marshlands. Like I mentioned, incorrupt remains of the great pilgrim, founder of the order and comfort to his followers. His feet never stopped, always taking him forward through in his mysterious wandering through custodia. The bearer of this relic receives his determination and walks effortlessly through swamps and marshlands. Which we will want to use. And Redento has died. Achievement unlocked. We get a knot of rosary rope. All right. And I said, we're going to put the other things back on. Take this off. Take this off. This and this. It occurred to me that uh, while I said see you next time, I did not get to a save point and... I apparently cannot save on the fly. So I'll be walking to the next point. Oh, I'm glad I came over here. Consecrated Amethyst is a great protection against magical attacks, so that's fantastic. Hmm, I do want over the there. Oh, I marked a thing on here. They did not want to do. Cool. All right, so we're going across. Wait, there's no white edge. Ta-da. Where do we get bones? Yep, bones. Looks like this one is not. Oh, yeah, look at that. I was like, this isn't where I came in. No, because we now have a thing that gets a shortcut up here. I'm just proceeding back to another Predia. Ow! I think that may be the first time in the game I've been hit by one of these things. Oh no! There we go. As long as you know how to jump over them and you can time your jump right, these guys are not scary. As you can see, we are strong enough to kill them quite quick. Alright, we're moving across. Um... I don't remember. When I walk by the chapel of the perpetual agony, I can never bring myself to enter it. She still screams in pain like the very first day they brought her here. A living miracle, they said. The miracle granted her wish. Now we pray to her, watching her endless ordeal. We're getting close to one of my favorite bosses. And again, I'm moving forward until I hit the Predia room. Actually, I'll hit here and knock that forward, and then down we go. There you go, buddy.
Not afraid of you. I don't think I should be afraid of you. I'm just going to take that and end you. Because like I said, I'm not afraid. And the slide is so good at staggering enemies. There we go. That's what I wanted. Let's check out the rest of this room real quick. Ah, oh, I just have so much fun in this game. And I will grab what I presume is a bone. Ah, uh, hey, we got a Confessor statue. Again, we will be needing those. Roop. You ain't so bad. Hey, look, I can get two hits in per slice. I recommend that. It's a little faster. All right, now I'm good to stop. If you enjoyed the video, I mean, we made huge progress today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Next time, we are probably going into the library of negated words. I think that's next. I mean, there's more stuff up here, though, so maybe you want to finish that. But I think I think it's library time. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you would like to see more blasphemous please subscribe plus it helps out the channel quite a bit you can share the video comment on the video i do love talking to people in the comments thanks so much for watching take care and i will see you next time